Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this number five, and you, when you move it around, you can see it's a bitmap. It's really pretty, pretty sharp. But he wants to get this effect where there's just some black around the edges. I've done something like this before. Now, the only problem is it depends on what you're printing it on. If you're printing it on a white shirt, this would work perfectly. If you're not, um, you're going to have white. Well, the, the whole bitmap is white, so there's not the problem. So what we're going to do, let's see how big this thing is. It's, uh, wow, eight inches wide. Let's make our nudge factor nine. <clears throat> and let's make a duplicate of that and nudge it over. I'm going to do it twice. So I'm going to do it the one way first, and then I'm going to show him another way. So we're going to make that, I don't have that orange. I'm, let me use this orange. And what you're going to want to do is take this orange, and we're going to actually use the yellow box. And we're going to put an outline around this. So I'm going to right-click in white. And then I'm going to go to, I'm going to hit F12 on the keyboard bring up my pin docker, and I'm going to make it quarter of an inch white. And then I'm going to say, okay. Now I'm going to take this and move it back. Let me move this out of the way. Now for just a second, I'm going to have to move one of them. I'm going to set my nudge factor now like on 0.2. And I'm going to get my orange, kind of nudge it out. Well, I can... I can actually do it without nudging the black. I'm nudging the the other one. But you see what I'm talking about. It's giving you this factor. But this is kind of dangerous because if you print on white uh, t-shirt and it's not the exact white or you print on a, a blue t-shirt, you're going to have that white. And I don't think that's what he wants. I think he just wants this line. So the way I would do that, let me uh, set my nudge factor back on nine. And we're going to do it completely opposite. Matter of fact, I'm just going to get rid of, well, should have kept that one. I'm going to get rid of this one. So this is just a blob or a solid color. It's CMYK. I use RGB, but that doesn't matter. And I'm going to take away the inside and put on an outside. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a duplicate of that and I'm going to move it over, but I'm going to take this one here and instead of putting in white, I'm going to put nothing. So now what we need to do is go to effects and contour and we're going to contour the outside just one step. Let's see what point one does. No, I want to go to the outside. I'm going to go point two. So now we have this offset. So now what I can do is take this and fill it in with that orange. And then I can move this over back to where it was. It'll still be selected when I select off of it to change my nudge factor to that point two. And when I click back, it should just pick it up. And now I can nudge down and over a little bit. Well, you know what I didn't do? I didn't break the contour apart. Break the contour apart. And you know what? I'm going to just back up because I should have done that. Okay. I'm going to go up to object and break the contour apart. Now I'm going to take my smart fill and fill that in with black or this. I'm going to go ahead and make this black. I don't want to fill it in. I'm actually going to take away the outline. No, I don't want to do that. I got mixed up. I want to be able to fill this in. Now my nudge factor will sit on that point two, and we might have to move one of them. See, that's the one I don't want to move. That's actually the contour. Tell you what, let me hit it like three times and then grab that. And we want this one right here. 
So I'm going to move it down. I'm going to move this one back down and then move this back three times. And then move it. Now I can move it down. So what I'm doing, I'm creating a, you know what, I'm going to change my nudge factor to 0.1. It's really not enough or it's too much. So I'm going to go up with the one, take the other one and go up maybe twice. Now I can take my smart fill tool. As a matter of fact, I need to move it over one. And I can take my smart fill tool set on black. So this way you could print it on any color shirt. So you're only going to get that little bit of effect. Now, if we take away the outline by right clicking no outline, it's, it's, you could adjust it. This actually looks a little better. But now if we take and make a blue shirt, go up to object, order, back a page. That, that's what the, that's what you really want. And you could still adjust this. You know, we could go 0 0.01, well, 0 0.05 and grab that black and kind of move it up a little bit, you know, just depending on how you, what did you want it to look like. That's pretty cool. You know, it's funny on the screen with the, the, the blue and the orange right there from a distance, it looks purple. Now I like this look, but on a white background, well, of course that's all white because it's a bitmap. <clears throat> you know, this is, I think this is what he's wanting. Anyway, I hope that answered his question and thank you for watching.